Hello and welcome back to Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Today we're going to be doing another challenge playthrough, this time with Stronghold. The rules will be no tier 5 spells, no res, no animate dead, no griffin conservatories and no dragonfly hives. Uh, we'll be playing on a giant map with underground uh, against 7 AI on a free for all basis. All roads, no water, strong monsters, and on 200% or impossible difficulty as always. Um, we're going to go with the obvious choice here, which is Crag Hack, uh, and of course an artifact start as always. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so let's finally get into it. Um, we've got a Charm of Mana on Crag Hack, which is fine as a starting artifact. It's not amazing, but it's, it's fine. Um, Terek in our tavern, who's actually a really, really good secondary hero. His speciality of haste, which means he starts with the spell. Uh, wisdom and tactics, and of course, a little bit of army, so that's great. Um, Octavia is fine. She situationally can be useful with Scholar. Um, generally won't be, but she does give 350 gold as a specialty, which at this point in the game is super strong. So the aim will probably be to pick up Octavia as soon as we can, and then also to pick up Terek this week. Even if it means that we don't build our town up that much, um, it can be really, really important. Uh, especially as we can have an enormous biome on giant maps. Um, so let's start moving. Okay, so we've got a little bit of gold to pick up there. Some gremlins, which we could actually take now, but we can't take the treasury, so... We'll figure that out in a later date. Sulfur, which isn't that useful. Gold, which is useful, of course. And a treasure, uh, treasury? Observatory. So, let's have a look what we can see with the observatory. Okay, so we can see that we've got uh, Iron Golem Break here. Which isn't too hard to fight, but we, we don't need that yet with our army. We've got some sharpshooters. Uh, guarding a ring which is also blocking off our sawmill which is pretty irritating uh, and we but we do have a warehouse of wood actually down here which is nice uh, we've got a, a picket which could be really really useful to us and a lot of fights that we can't really take yet with our current army yeah a lot of fights we can't take yet uh, is an experimental shop there though that's guarding an armor of wonder as well behind these griffins, so that could be a good thing to take in the longer term. Uh, let's pick up the mercury and let's take the fight with lots of pixies. I think this is probably correct. Eleven goblins. I think I can do better than that. Okay, let's just defend on those at the bottom. And we've got a full power shot to take on these pixies. Nice, actually took the full stack. That's pretty good. Okay, so we waited there. Um, I guess we might as well just smack the sprites here. Yep, okay. Um, we'll take the retaliation on this one stack here. And then our wolf riders should be able to finish them off. So let's hit this stack at the bottom. Okay, six. That's slightly better. And we can grab this campfire next turn for some resources. Hopefully it's going to be wood or ore. Sulfur. Okay, sulfur and gold. Um, the gold's obviously useful, but the sulfur, not so much. Uh, it's a real shame we can't get through these sharpshooters at the moment, because I'd love to pick up that ring of sulfur and the sawmill, but never mind. Um... Let's just move ourselves back down so that we can start picking up a few more of these bits. And I think that's it for the turn. I think we're guaranteed to get enough from this pile. Okay, we got 900 anyway. I was going to say we were guaranteed to get enough to be able to buy uh, at, at least a hero. But we had more than enough to buy a hero. And we're not going to buy any more units yet. Um, because we want to drop these off and just push through as much as possible with Tarek. 
but we also want to save some gold to build our town hall and also take sorry Terex the one that we want to buy I was just thinking about that um, rather than Craghack who's going to be killing these gremlins uh, I don't think I should really lose that much given that there's no um, there's no master gremlins here so it should be a relatively simple fight this and let's just wait and wait and wait and defend let's wait wait And we can just take these last ones out with this stack here. Let's defend up on both of these. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, wait in case we want a one stack. We just hope there's no morale. There was not. Okay. So we hit the bigger stack with our uh, orcs. And then as dull as it is to do we actually just want to move up and hope for no morale and then wait 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 on everything apart from our orcs uh, these magogs are going to get hit but I don't think I'll lose anything so I think it's okay yeah perfect okay so no losses that's fine uh, a horde and lots so that's going to be five stacks of 20, 20 battle dwarves and four stacks of 20 dwarves that's way too much for the army we've got at the moment sadly, uh, otherwise we would definitely pick them up and let's take our ore pit next turn uh, Octavia can hopefully move through this way a little bit she can at least move to the seer's hut uh, and she can get through there if I need her to as well, so that's fine so end the turn Okay, gold. That's really, really helpful. So we've got Marius, who's actually really, really cool as a hero. I really like him if I'm playing dungeon farming. And let's see what else we can find. Um, I don't think there's much I'm going to be able to build. I'm going to need to find some ore and quite a bit of gold to be able to build the cliff nest. Um, or some wood to be able to build the orc tower, which could be a useful thing to build as well, actually. So... Okay, these are all guarded. This is all blocked off. Okay, we've got some unguarded gold there at least. That's good. And let's send Terek down this way. He can at least drop off our units next turn. Uh, and sadly, we don't have anything else we can actually do this turn really, so let's just end the turn. Uh, Tarek wants to pass over his entire army. That's great. He can also pick up Cure and give that to uh, to Craghack. And Crag can probably just make these flee, which I'll probably allow. Yeah, I'll let them flee. That's fine. Uh, quite a bit of gold here. Lots of battle dwarves down here. But really we want wood, I think. So, let's make sure, since we can't get our sawmill, that we can at least get two lots of this warehouse of wood this week. Or one this week and then one immediately next week. Uh, there is a corpse up there, but I can visit that on, on Terek here. Okay, magic arrow was a scroll, that's great. Okay, I can't get past either of these stacks, so let's send Octavia back over here. We've got a, an obelisk to pick up, which is nice, and we'll check out what's in this witch's hut as well. Okay, so we've got a couple of choices here. We're on day five, so we could build the cliff nest. That'll allow us to have rocks for next week. We could build the town hall, which is really, really useful. Increases our gold income, of course. Um, we're on day five, so 
I've still got a chance to build potentially one building in the Citadel or two buildings next turn if I if I have enough resources. So I think gold is going to be a real barrier, so I could build the town hall now, Cliff Nest and Citadel, or Cliff Nest and Orc Tower, depending on what resources I get. What are we actually going to get? Let's have a look. So we've got two big piles of gold there. We've got loads of wood that we're going to pick up from the warehouse as well as here. Um, or they could be small, but they're, they're probably big piles of gold, I would guess. They usually are on maps like this. So... I think the best thing to do in this instance is to build my cliff nest. Yeah, let's end the turn there. I think that was the right thing to do, I think. And... Wow, lots of zombies lost. I didn't actually mean zombies, I meant my own units. defend up on some of these. Then we want to start waiting. Let's wait on all of these as well so that they're a little bit closer. We can get a full powered shot. And if I just move there and there then I'm not hittable again for this turn, so let's wait, wait, wait again. And I actually want to pop this one stack here, so that he gets hit by one of the stacks. And I want to wait again. Okay. So, let's go and hit this smaller stack with my uh, big stack of imps, and likewise with these goblins. And also with the Wolf Riders. How many shots left? Nine. Okay. So we're going to lose some Magogs here. Um, it's not a huge deal though if we, if, if we do, actually. Okay. Okay, so as expected we lost our Magogs there. don't want to lose too many orcs though, so let's see if they go for my imps instead. They don't. Okay. And we want to keep as many wolf raiders as possible, so let's hit with our goblin stack here, and we'll run away with our orcs there. We'll hit with our imps because we don't care about them. Ah, nice that they actually hit the imps there too. Okay, and we smack these with our goblins. Okay, I mean we lost quite a few troops but it's still a lot more favourable than, uh, than the AI did. So let's take expert offence. And even though it's a waste of moves, we will actually take this with uh, with Crag Hack. Because it means we can guarantee it this turn. And we don't know what else we're going to find with uh, with Terek. Mm, okay, let's visit the wagon. Why not? Okay, so it is underground. The, uh, the Grail. Not that we ever get the Grail. So let's also see what's in here. Ugh, eagle eye, wow. 
possibly the worst ability in the entire game. So that's always nice to have. And let's see what else we can build. So, we build our upgraded cliff nest. Uh, sorry, we build our cliff nest. We've got a choice now. We can either go for the citadel and the orc tower. Although we can't do both this week. So unless there's a way for us to get a load of ore, we're going to need five more. I'm only going to get two next turn. I can see that there's some ore down here. So it's possible I could actually pick that up next turn. So let's let's scrap the town hall for now, even though I'd actually really like to build it. Uh, and let's build our orc tower. That's fine. Ainane, he's actually a good hero, but no army, so we won't take him. Let's end the turn. Okay, and Kraghack wants to make sure that he gets to some of this ore. I don't think it really matters which one, because we only need two. Okay, let's just hope they don't morale here, I guess. And we're going to wait on everything except for our orc stack. We can actually take the majority of this with our goblins, so let's do that. And we're going to be able to move with our goblins before hmm, before these are, but let's just go for it anyway. Goblins can definitely take out the rest of these, no problem. Oof, didn't expect morale there. Let's move our Wolfries back and put the curb rifle forward instead. Okay, so let's wait, wait, wait. We can hit these. Let's be very, very cowardly because we want to save as many units as possible at this point. Uh, they've already morale on me once, so I'm not going to risk them doing so again. And uh, this should do it. Yep, cool. So that's way less losses than uh, they thought we should have. Uh, I'm going to take leadership. Leadership's uh, actually a really great skill. And I don't actually need the additional ore yet. If we're going to be building the citadel, which I think we are. So let's build that. And... Yeah, I guess it makes sense to send uh, Krakak down here to see if we can get this Colosseum. Little bit of knowledge on Krakak wouldn't hurt for sure. And we'll leave Octavia where she is to pick up some units next turn. Wow, Shaman's puppet in the uh, in the wagon. It's a bit of a surprise. Not a bad one though, I must say. And corpse, let's see. Really? Ah, huh, okay. Uh, that's probably the best corpse I've ever picked up. And Terek can wait here because he can pick up the wood from here for us next turn. So, I think that's actually the first week all done. Week of the Squirrel, okay. Um, Terek, first things first, yeah, let's grab these resources. And let's go and give these artifacts to uh, Kraghack. Okay, that's a really nice start. Armor of Wonder at this point in the game is, is actually brilliant. It's really, really strong. And there's another corpse there, so you never know what we'll get. Probably nothing, but you never know. Let's see, we've got Vey, the Battle Mage, who again, is not a bad secondary hero. Um, and could be worth using. Uh, lots of Medusa Queens, okay, well we, we can't take that yet, so let's go up this way with uh, with Crack Hack. Lots of things to pick up here by the looks of it though, which is, is really, really nice. 
Um, Octavia can go and visit this corpse for us. Ah, nothing. Okay. Um, that kind of evens out having a really good corpse that we found last turn, I suppose. Ah, likewise, another nothing. There's some ore here. That's quite good. Uh, lots of centaurs. Should be a doable fight. Sacrifice these Kerberi. Okay, that's that shaman's puppet already uh, doing its job there. Okay, morale. Okay, so that actually went fine. Um, Horde of pikemen. Probably actually not worth us taking out right now. I do want to come back and get some units, so let's start going north again. Terek can pick up a few of these bits for us. And Octavia can go back home. Uh, in fact, we're going to want Octavia as a bridge hero to take some units down south for us. So, first things first, we could buy Vey now. We'll have the gold for it. Um, or we could wait till next turn. We'll get 1,350 gold. So if we built our town hall, 600 left. We'd still be a little bit shy. Uh, a few hundred gold shy. But we do have some gold here, so let's take the risk. Let's build our town hall for that slight extra efficiency. Let's just get this on Crag Hack or on the way past. Uh, quite a bit more gold up here as well, which is nice to see. Might actually have to start travelling down this way with Octavia to actually bring troops through. Okay, so we've got Vey. And what we really need to do next is get enough resources that we can actually buy the rest of our troops. So that's really going to be another turn's uh, goal. Unless we can get all the way up there with uh, with Terek this turn. Thousand gold, I mean that's that's a long way towards where we want it to be. But at least allows us to buy all of our orcs. So, I mean it might even be worth it. I'm not sure that we can do lots of stone gargoyles on week two. Not with, uh, not with Vey. Don't particularly want to send her all the way around either, though. Or him all the way around. So I think the only option is probably going to be to do the gargoyles here. So let's wait till next turn and we'll pick up some more units and then we can do the gargoyles. Probably a bit pointless buying they actually, on reflection. Okay, so this is all blocked off, nothing we can do about this. Let's send Terek down and he can grab some of the resources that we didn't pick up while he's on his way out. pick up rocks and a couple of wolf raiders and split these out this should be enough I think to break through this hmm I don't feel like I should lose that many but I always feel that way uh, let's wait 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 and we'll even wait on the orcs but it doesn't matter because they're slow Now, as long as I save my uh, 
my orc archers from getting hit, then I don't really mind. Let's just move this one stack here. And we want to move this guy one up. Let's just defend. Defend. We can magic arrow this stack again. And wait, wait, wait. Let's wait. Can take out a decent chunk of this. Shouldn't lose a couple of goblins. Yep. Uh, let's just defend and we can hit these gargoyles at the back. Okay, so we're out of mana already. Let's wait on the rocks. We'll hit the gargoyles. We'll wait. We'll hit the gargoyles with this one stack. Okay, we should be good just to hit now. Alright, I think there's pretty acceptable losses for, for Vey to take there. Hmm, crystal, okay. We'll take it. We don't have anything to pick up here with Octavia, really. So let's just send her back home again. Let's pick up all of the army off of A. Which I think should mean that we can just make some of these stacks flee because we don't particularly want to fight some of the more difficult ones here. Nope, we don't want to fight a load of pixies. Not really, anyway. Very happy to fight lots of crewmates, but it's not really a worthwhile fight. Pack of water elementals. It's really worthwhile, but if they have lots of ice elementals as part of that, then I'll lose a significant number of troops. So let's see. Let's try it out. Uh, yeah, no, no ice elementals here, so I don't really think that we should lose very much at all. Right, okay, they're that much faster than me. Let's move the one stacks forward here so that they draw the fire from this stack. And likewise with uh, with these. Okay. Let's just move these up so they're definitely baiting well. And we'll wait. Okay, two to four. I think that should be good enough. And then the rocks can finish off the stack. And then they can start waiting again. Uh, for some reason I thought that would get them close enough to, uh, to be able to hit them that turn. Let's just wait and go to hit with these again. Yep, shouldn't lose a rock here, so that's fine. Okay, so four goblins. I think that's actually fine for uh, an inexhaustible cart of lumber, um, especially given that we don't actually have a lumber mill. And... We'll take this stack of crewmates as well. That should be quite an easy fight. Oh, again, thinks I'm going to lose a lot here. Wow. I mean, I might well now that's, uh, that's been a hell of a morale. Take the retail on our curb right because we don't care about them. And we'll wait on our rocks. Take the retail on our curb right again so that we can hit with these. 
Hey, that should be enough. Alright, I think that's much better. Basic earth magic. Definitely worth taking. Wood and gold, happy with that. And let's start sending ourselves back upwards uh, with Crack Hack. Later on, we have got a horde of harpies here to get us into the next area as well for our initial break. Um, but I'll probably do the road break. It looks like it'll bring us to a different area, but I'll probably do it anyway. Just because I, I traditionally always do the road break, so that's what I'll do. Um, we've also got a few fights here that could well be worth taking by the looks of it. If we can we can push out these grenadiers, um, that'll be well worth doing. So in fact, what we're going to do is send Bay up this way. And then Terek can actually pick up these resources we've just unlocked here for us. Okay, I think that's a good good way to do it. And potentially Octavia over here as well. Yeah, I think that makes sense. I think that does make sense. Okay, so what are we going to be building next? Um, we want to get as many troops as we possibly can, and we also want to build towards our city hall. Um, so... Day five. Maybe we should be thinking about making the ogre fort already. Yeah, I think we should. Behemoth Crag is on the cards as well, but we don't have the resources for that yet. Um, okay, so that's the ogre fort done. We want to try and get the castle and the Cyclops Cave this week if we can. I don't think that's really that doable, but let's see. So I think we're good to end the turn. And just bear me one second. Right, sorry about that. Uh, so let's move Crackhack onwards. Wants to give the units to Vey. And might as well give the artifacts to Vey as well while we're at it. Uh, Vey wants to just take out lots of halflings. So hopefully we can make them flee. We can. Excellent. pick up a small amount of extra gold, but let's also see if we can make these pixies flee. Oh, wow, they actually want to fight us. I'm a little bit surprised there, actually. Um, let's just defend and then wait. Okay, so no actual losses, that's fine. I mean, it's more than fine, it's, it's good, obviously. Um, we could also try and take the experimental shop, which could be interesting, but I think what we'll do is we'll just pick up the campfire next turn and then go and dump the units on Craghack. Uh, Tarek just wants to pick up a few resources for us. Uh, four crystal, that's nice. Got, got enough for our behemoth there now, then. And Octavia... I... I don't think we actually have much to do with Octavia right now. Uh, there's men of the sea down there. We could just visit this shrine with Octavia. Let's take basic earth magic, you never know how, when that could be useful. And let's see what we can build. So we've got a choice here. We're not going to be able to build up Behemoth Crag no matter what we do this week. So there's no point saving resources for that other than the crystal. Um, City Hall's pretty worthwhile, as always, but I think our best choice here is actually going to be the Cyclops Cave. Even though that's going to leave us with not a huge amount of resources. Let's move Crackhack up one square as well, because I think we want to try and take out these Harpy Hags uh, next turn. And then we might even go for the Dwarven Treasury. We know it's got 100 Dwarves in it. Um, so, yeah, I think maybe we go for the Treasury. Okay, golden ore. Ore actually not the worst thing in the world. It's usually disappointing to get ore from a campfire, but in this instance I think it's probably worth it, actually. 
And Terek can pick up some gems and then leave himself on the warehouse of wood for next turn. Octavia can pick up this sulfur for us and visit the Sears hut, I suppose. We might as well see what it what they want. Although it's very unlikely at this stage that we'll actually have what they want, but we'll see. Uh, and Harpy Hacks, so let's make some one stacks. Alright. So if we wait on everything except for the Orcs, we are just going to have to defend up for this turn. But it should mean, well, I was going to say, it should mean they move far enough to uh, be hittable with my rocks, but turns out, no, that's not the case. Let's just move everything upwards so they can't hit any of them. And then we'll hit the middle stack with our archers. Oh, nice. Morale. That's actually really, really nice for us. Okay, so they can actually hit my rocks without having to return here, so I'm just going to move back and wait. I'm just going to pop out this two one stacks and see if they just go for those. Let's hit the bigger stack with my archers. And Harpy Hags are still faster than my rocks. Okay. But they can't really do anything. Unless they move again. Which they're not going to get the chance to do. Okay. Um, ooh. Very tempting taking scouting. I know opinions are very, very mixed on scouting. Um, but given that I always play on giant maps, or pretty much always anyway... Um, Scouting is far, far stronger than it might appear in some instances, so I am going to take scouting. Um, again, I know there's going to be people that are sat watching the video going, what the hell are you doing? Uh, don't take scouting, it's useless, blah, blah. Um, I actually tend to find it's really, really useful. And we won't take them yet, we'll actually take them next turn. Uh, reason being... That we could have picked up a few more resources by then and be able to pick up some extra units. So we have got enough gold to build something else. But I think we're actually just going to save the gold because we're going to want to buy a new hero next turn. Well, we should get a hero that's usable and actually has an army. Um, and we'll also have a ton of units to pick up still. Which we can hopefully pick up some of take out the Dwarven Treasury, and then see where we go from there. So, let's end the turn without building. And first things first, let's pick up this gold with Bay. Okay, who do we get? Gundula. Again, I'm getting some good heroes this time, but I suppose Stronghold does have access to some very good heroes. Uh, 600 gold per rock, so let's pick up two. And we'll pick up a couple of wolf raiders as well while we're at it. Or wolf riders, technically. Let's go and drop these with crack hack. So we're going to want our wolf raiders to be on the top row. We want our archers to be in the middle on the second row. Uh, sorry, on, on the left-hand side in the middle row. We want our goblins to be in the middle. And we want two one stacks on the bottom. Okay, I think this is good. And we should be able to just move back with our rocks without causing too many issues for anything else. This is as long as we don't get morale, of course. Uh, if we do get morale, then 
this is a very different scenario. Let's move our one stacks down to intercept some of these. Ah, they still went and smacked my uh, orcs, which wasn't quite what I expected. Um, yeah, let's just take the hit. We are going to lose a couple of orcs probably by doing it this way, but I, th I think that's okay overall. And we've already taken the retail on this stack of dwarves here, so let's hit them with our rocks. Oh, I thought we'd already taken the retail. Apparently we hadn't. Fine. And let's take the retail on these, on this small stack of goblins. Okay. Let's defend. And then we can wait, wait, and full stack. Oh, morale. Double stack. Nice. Or double hit, even. And two to four. 60 health. So I think I can just go and hit these dwarves. Yep. No losses. That's great. Uh, wait, and... Hmm. Okay. Okay, so we did lose one rock. I think that's okay though. We'll take advanced scouting. I think it's worth it for the 5k gold. Because uh, from there that means we can go and pick up a load more troops. Including six more rocks. And one Cyclops. Wow, that's uh, a meaty power stack, one Cyclops. I mean, ideally I'd prefer to be able to take out these sharpshooters, but I don't think that's really going to happen. So I think perhaps lots of Iron Golems is our way forward next. I'm not even going to bother with the CS hut thinking about it. I'm just going to see who we've got. We've got Sorsha and Zarbax, neither of which are useful. And we want to pick up the wood here, and we still have this corpse to the north to visit, so let's visit that. And Vey doesn't have a huge amount to do now. So actually, let's visit this still with Vey. Centaur's Axe, okay. And Gundula was our newest hero. She can perhaps go this way and be part of some sort of chain soon. And nothing we can build, so let's just end the turn. Quite a slow start so far, but that's uh, pretty typical of, of this size map. Uh, right, so, we want to, I mean, ideally we really want to be buying some more troops, but we don't have the gold, so let's just buy a marketplace, we can start moving towards our city hall, and then almost immediately towards our capital afterwards. Okay, so, I'd love to take out these sharpshooters, but they, whilst killable, they will kill pretty much my entire army, so I don't think it's worth it. Let's go and take lots of Iron Golems instead. Wow, double hit with my uh, Cyclops to not even manage to kill one unit. Nice. Oh, yes. Morale with our Orcs is actually just what we needed. And then we can just go and smack them with the goblins, and... Oh, I thought that was actually it. Fine, we lost one goblin, though. That's that's not the end of the world. Um, Lots of centaur captains. It should be a relatively trivial fight. I'm actually fine with just losing one, uh, one goblin, but I'm going to take the fight anyway, because I know most people prefer that all fights are taken, if possible. 
Though it does seem to be a Reddit thing. I don't think I've ever actually had anybody comment on a single one of my videos that, oh, you haven't taken this fight when you should have done, or something like that. But I shouldn't have been talking while I was thinking about that, because I screwed it up. Okay, and rocks, if I go here, shouldn't be gettable by the centaurs. Oh, they are anyway, but doesn't matter. Uh, fine, let's take advanced earth magic. Uh, sorry, advanced. Yeah, advanced earth magic. Uh, protection from earth. Not that useful a spell in the short term, but in the long term it can be really, really good. Um, especially later on in the game when... Let's hope for morale here, I guess. Wrong stack. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, later on you start getting imploded pretty heavily by the AI and they'll be really, really useful at that point. Okay, so we've opened this up a little bit. We can actually start coming through with some of these newer heroes that we've got. So let's bring Gundula through first. Okay, we've got a wagon and some gold we can pick up for free, and looks like the same again down here, which is nice. They can go and get some free XP. Uh, advanced leadership is good. Terek. Ah, another empty skeleton. That's, uh, that's that all cleared out then for now. And we have got a... what looks like a goblin barracks over here. But it's, it's not really worth taking the detour to go and pick up a few goblins. Not generally anyway, although... Like, might not necessarily be true for this particular playthrough. So let's end the turn. I think we're good. 600 gold. Not bad. Uh, yes, we'll engage them. As long as there's no storm elementals, then it's probably worth it. Okay, the rocks can just smack those down, that's fine then. Let's take gold. We'll take out a horde of gnolls. Let me know in the comments, by the way, if you if you are one of those people that's uh, on Reddit that wants me to take every fight. I have absolutely no problem with doing so. It's just that sometimes in the later game especially, you do get fights that are so trivial you think, well, you know, is there actually any point in taking this? Okay, we've got gold, horde of imps, which is an easy fight to take. Great. And we've got another obelisk to visit there, which is nice. Let's use our secondary heroes. Wow. Glyph of Gallantry. These wagons are way better than average so far this game. Golem Factory. Okay. Seems like an odd thing to have in uh, in this area, but sure. Whiff of Gallantry would actually be really useful on that, on my main hero. In fact, let's put Octavia here-ish. Then I can drop off the glyph to her and send that on to Crackhack next turn. Especially if Crackhack wastes a bit of movement, which I just have. Uh, Charm of Mana, that would normally be really, really good, but we actually already have one, unfortunately. Tarek, go back home so that we can pick up some units and start building towards our city hall and castle as well this week. That said, we could save some gold. No, no, let's just go towards our, our city hall. In fact, we're just going to keep this gold saved for now. We're going to leave Tarek where he is and just save the gold. 
Uh, only day three though, so actually Terek can go and visit this learning stone and swap places with Vey. Vey can sit in the town and do nothing instead. Okay. So let's drop off the glyph to Octavia. Then Octavia wants to pass both of these on, uh, especially the magic arrow. Uh, we'll replace Pro Earth for now. I quite like that. Octavia has a has wood production as well now, which is good. And I don't really want to take out a throng of oceanids. Oh, there's a stable there. Very nice. So a cursed temple above us we can see. That's cool. A uh, horde of gremlins. Let's hope there's no master gremlins. There are not. Uh, yeah, let's visit the corpse. Wow, corpses and uh, wagons this particular game are ending up super strong. Uh, my experience of them generally is that you get very, very little out of them, at least and very, very little useful. But that doesn't appear to be the case this time around. So let's build ourselves the blacksmith so that we can build towards the, uh, the city hall. Otherwise, we're just saving gold now. Let's see. Let's see if Gunjula gets something amazing from this cart as well next turn. And on day four. So, actually, we're going to be buying a new hero next week anyway. To load up with troops. So, let's move Vey along there to chain units if we can. Yeah, Horde of Skeletons should be a pretty trivial fight. And we're just going to want to defend up and then wait again on most of these units. And we're mostly going to want to be just running away. Let's just wait. Run away. Defend. And we can actually just go and hit with the rocks now. Okay, great. So let's take expert scouting. Uh, Octavia can come and pick up some of these resources for us, I suppose. Ah, whoops. Actually meant to take that fight. Never mind. Mm, looks like we've actually got more of our biome here that was beyond these knolls. I didn't realise that. Either way, though. We can get a free hero from this prison. Uh, basic archery. Yeah, let's take basic archery. Why not? Um, we've just picked up the unicorn string, uh, bowstring of the unicorn's mane. So we're actually automatically getting an immediate 20% increase for our orcs and our cyclops. So I think that probably actually is worth it. Lots of mummies shouldn't be too bad, though. Not a super easy fight, but not too bad either. Let's see what we get from here, Gundula. Just a bit of wood. That's a bit more like the usual that we get from those. Let's move Gundula on. They can also be moving along a bit for us. I can visit the obelisk. Again, I'll probably never take the... Uh, uh, let's take armor on Tarek. And then start moving our way back towards the warehouse of wood, I suppose. And Octavia can go and grab stables, etc. And then she can come and grab a couple of these resources for us and that corpse. Okay, so let's build the city hall. 
It gives us a much, much better gold income going forward. And once we build the castle, it'll also allow us to build the capital. Which I think is going to be pretty essential going uh, going forth in this game. So let's move Vale on a little bit further. We might not want to move him any further than that, actually. Okay, we've still not seen any AI, but that's okay. Um, we'll just wait on everything except for the archers. Now defend on everything. Wait on everything, including the archers. Let's just put a one stack next to these. Let's actually drag them back slightly. Let's move these up. We can smack these with the rocks and then we can just run away with the rocks. Let's wait, wait. And we can just run away with these goblins as well. And then we can smack these with our rocks. Okay, great. So we ended up with Straker. Yep, the worst hero in the entire Necropolis uh, army. Oh well. He can still pick up a few bits and pieces for us, I suppose. But otherwise, let's move on with Craghack. The Horde of Nymphs. I'm not going to engage them if they don't want to. And likewise, these armadillos. I'd actually quite like the resources from that, and it's an easy fight, so let's take it. And Octavia can come and pick up a few of these bits and pieces for us, as well as do some forward scouting. Terex nearly at the start of his route, but that's fine. And Vey, we probably want around there. Gundula, we probably want somewhere around here, I guess. Yeah, maybe there. I think perhaps that's right. Okay, yeah, I think that's good. And we're on day six. What do we need for our, our behemoth there? At this point, just gold. So, 6,600... Uh, we're going to be able to pick up some gold next turn. We'll get 2,000... We'll get up to 9,000. So yeah, I, th I think we do just wait and we build the Behemoth Crag. So, let's end the turn. And then, pick up gold. Wow! Yeah, this really is pretty epic, what I'm getting from my... Uh, Wagons and things this game. That's that's just insane actually. Okay. And sorry, bear with me a second again. Sorry about that, it seems to be the day for interruptions. Uh although as many of you will already know, that does seem to be a feature of uh <laughs> of my playthroughs. I seem to get interrupted on a semi regular basis. And by semi-regular, I mean generally at least once per episode I'll, I'll get a phone call I have to take. But there we go. It uh, It is what it is. Uh, okay, let's take this fight quickly with these armadillos. And then the most sensible thing to do is probably going to be to finish uh, this episode up. Because we're pretty much at the point we need to be. And we should be able to take these out. Uh, nothing else, we can just pick these off. Oh, extra morale. So this is leadership really coming into its own here. So that's a few more bits cleared with uh, with Crack Hack, so he can start moving on down the road. Uh, lots of zombies, probably is worth taking out, and we'll just accept that. I probably wouldn't do any better anyway. Okay, and we've got a choice. We can either carry on down the road here, or we can clear out a few bits and pieces up at the top. So, 
some of these are quite easy fights, so I think we're actually going to do some of them. Okay, let's just wait on everything, uh, apart from the melees, which we'll just do nothing on. And then we should be able to just smack these with our rocks, and that's that. Yep, great. Okay, and we'll leave uh, Tarek there for next week. Most of these other heroes are already where they want to be. Octavia just wants to grab a few resources for us. And otherwise, we want to build our Behemoth Crag. So, that's, uh, that's the end of the week and the end of the episode. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.